Hello everyone, happy holidays. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and week. Today I am super, super excited because I'm going to be sharing some of my most used products in 2021. So last year I actually did a video where I talked about my brand new products for 2020, but I thought it made more sense to talk about the products that I actually used the most. So what I'm mentioning in this video are things that I take on my travels. These are like my must haves, must come with me everywhere I go. Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna be sharing some hair products, makeup products, skincare products, and bath products. So just keep on watching if you're interested to see what I cannot live without. So the first item that I use for my hair, especially when I'm doing my natural curls, which if you guys don't know, I have gone back to my curly hair journey. So I really, really want to get those luscious curls and I've been really treating my hair with amazing products that are sulfate free, that don't have fragrance, that just check all of the boxes. So when I'm wanting to really emphasize my natural curls, I use this baby. So this is a diffuser attachment and it's basically universal so you can stick it onto any hair dryer. The nice thing about that is if you really don't want to get a new hair dryer, especially me, like I'm not someone who dries my hair very often, I usually just air dry it. it just just made sense to get an attachment rather than an entire new um, hair dryer that had a diffuser attachment already installed. So this one can be stuck onto any hair dryer. It's pretty universal. I got it from Amazon, so I will be linking that below. My next must-have hair product is this Denman brush. Now, Denman brush are the new hype. If you have curls, you must have a Denman brush. This brush is created for women and men who have curly hair and who really, really want to get that curl formation, right? So if you have had no luck really with any hair brushes, I'm sure that you guys probably already have a wet brush. I know I already do. This is something you really need to add to your arsenal because it really helps your curls form. You actually use this while your hair is wet. And just a little tidbit for you guys, if you have curly hair, you should be combing and brushing your hair while it is wet. I know that is kind of against all beauty standards. Usually you hear that you should never brush your hair when it's wet, but if you have curly hair, then it should never brush your hair when it's dry. So if you have naturally straight hair, just totally, you know, <laughs> don't listen to this because this only applies for curly haired folks. But um, this is just a wonderful, wonderful piece for hair care. I also purchased this on Amazon. Now, if you want to take care of your hair, then before even getting the diffuser and the Denman brush, you need this. This is a microfiber towel. You should not be drying your hair with a typical cotton towel. It is bad for your hair, it causes frizz, it causes you know your hair to fall out, it causes your hair to dry out. So just like you should be using silk pillowcases, you need to be drying your hair with a microfiber towel. It feels super soft and it's just one of those things that once you start using it, you cannot go back to a regular you know, towel. So even when I am going on vacation, I tend to bring this with me because I don't want all my hair care to just go out the window. The next two items are the conditioner and shampoo that I use. So this brand is called Inner Scent and it is spectacular. It's organic, it is hydrating, it's full of wonderful, wonderful ingredients. There's no fragrance or parfum in here. So you know that your hair is really going to be getting all of the moisture that it needs. So I would describe the conditioner as fairly thick. You technically don't need a lot, but if you have pretty tangled or frizzy hair, then you, you get all up in there with this. Um, but it is a very thick conditioner. They call the shampoo a hair bath, and why they call it that is because it's not as stripping as your typical shampoo, and it actually is very hydrating. So 
I love both of these. These are both my go-tos. I do get both of these on Amazon. They're a little bit pricey, but you know what? If you are going to be investing in your hair, I highly, highly recommend these products. I mean, if you're shopping at the salon, I'm sure you're spending a lot anyways, but these products are actually good for you. If you rate them on those apps such as Think Dirty or Yucca or any of those other ones that tells you if products are organic and natural and as good as they claim to be, these are getting very good scores. They will come up as green, which means that they're good to go. They have wonderful ingredients. There's nothing that's going to be stripping your hair. So highly recommend these. I also use the Quiet Calm Curl Control. This is a styling cream and it basically works right out of the shower. So while your hair is still wet, um, this is when you go in with this. You can comb it through your hair. You can scrunch it up. You can kind of style it any way you want. And this is just another great product that I recommend. It is a cream formula. It's not as thick as the conditioner. It's definitely more lightweight. Um, and those those three products are just my favorites. So my next category is makeup. Personally, I do not wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm someone who really just likes letting my natural skin breathe, and I really only try to wear makeup when I'm going out on a date night or a birthday party or a special event or when I'm filming these videos for you guys. Especially with the current situation, all of us have not really been wearing makeup as much, but I still wanted to mention some of my favorite products that I purchased over and over and over. The first one being this. This is Gloss Balm by Fenty, and it's in the color Fenty Glow. This is... I would classify it as like a shimmery pink color. I am someone who likes pink colors and nude colors and brown tones for my lips and this just seems to work with almost any lipstick I wear. I can just throw it on, it's super shimmery, it's long lasting, it has a thick formula and it's not sticky. So I really, really love this lip gloss. I know in the past I said it's kind of a rip off, it's kind of expensive, but since then I have really realized what sets this lip gloss apart and now it is just a must have. It's a favorite of mine and I always keep a backup on hand. So these are my three favorite MAC lipsticks currently. The top one is Taupe, and this is a reddish brown color that I have had for years. My sister actually got it for me, and I found myself wearing this time and time again, especially this year. The next one is Kinda Sexy, which is a rosy pink color. It is just beautiful on a day-to-day -day basis, and I found that men really love pink colors on lips. I know personally I love brown, but I know my partner just prefers pink on my lips. But lastly, we have Love You Back, which is like a nude pink color. And as you guys can see, I kind of stick to the same nudes, pinks, browns. They pair so nicely with the Fenty Gloss. So I really love these. During Black Friday, MAC has actually been having a wonderful sale where all of their lipsticks, I don't know if it's just the matte ones or if it's all lipsticks all across the board, are $15 each, which is a steal. So you could technically get all three of these babies for under $50, which I think is a great price. The next product I want to talk about is this, and this is a collaboration between Becca and Chrissy Teigen. Um, this is a bronzer, glowy, highlighter kind of situation. The lovely thing about this is it basically has a bronzer on the bottom, it has a blush in the middle, and a highlighter up top. And what I love doing is just basically putting my brush all up in there, so when I I'm putting my bronzer and my blush on I get a little bit of highlighter and it makes the cheek area glow I have found myself taking this everywhere with me like when I bought it I had very low expectations for it because I tend to buy my bronzer blush and highlighter separate but the fact that it's just all in one is amazing and this formula is so pigmented I'm telling you this blush especially is my favorite blush that I have ever used it is like this baby pink coral color with a little bit of sheen and shimmer and I used to just 
just always always use NARS um, blush in the color orgasm but this one has just taken its place and I find myself using this all the time so I highly highly recommend this little three-in-one next I have this little baby right here this is just the sample size I cannot find my big one but this is the one that I take with me on vacations so this is the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and it kind of just looks like a lip gloss you twirl it up and you get it like this now I'm telling you this has lasted me so long I have been using this Bobbi Brown foundation stick ever since I was in college and for a while I stopped and I tried a lot of other foundations but I just find myself going back to this foundation stick over and over again the reason being it looks so natural I don't know what they put in it or why but I find that these sticks look a lot more natural than just liquid foundation or powder foundation I think it's just the formula of the stick it's not fully matte it's not fully glowy it's just somewhere in between and in terms of my shade I am warm beige or warm sand so if you're similar to me those are the two colors that I tend to switch between now the next thing is another foundation stick but this one I actually use as a bronzer kind of just to give more depth to my face it is not a very dark color at all as you guys can see it is kind of this like ashy brown bronzy tone but what I love about it is there is no orange undertone and I have found that so many bronzers and even like contour palettes always have this orange undertone and I find that this is one one of the only the only bronzers or foundation sticks that I've ever found that does not have that orange undertone and that actually looks natural on my skin tone so I tend to put this around my cheeks maybe on my jaw um, surrounding my forehead and it blends right in this is by Fenty Beauty I don't know if I mentioned that and it's in the color amber now what I usually do is sometimes I'll draw it right on my face but what's even easier sometimes is just going in with a bronze brush or a contour brush and just dipping it in there really good and then doing you know then applying it to your face so I really really love this Fenty Beauty stick and I found myself using this a lot this past year the next product I'm highlighting is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and this is the loose setting powder in just the translucent color I absolutely love this for setting under my eyes for setting you know my concealer around my face it really really holds well and it's just one of those products that I always have to have and I always have to have a backup as well so if you're looking for a good loose setting powder then definitely definitely try this one out I know that there's a lot of hype around it but there's a reason why and it's because it is amazing your makeup does not crease your makeup doesn't disappear you know this thing can basically withstand all types of weather so I really love setting this especially under my eyes it brightens the area and it just hides any dark circles so highly recommend last but not least we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz I have been using this for my eyebrows for the past several years I always get the color ebony and I love how there is two sides there is a brush side where you can brush your brows and there is a side where you can you know actually draw in little hairs and just fill in a little bit so I think over the years I have definitely reduced the amount that I fill in my eyebrows I'm really liking the more natural look and I really just fill in sparse areas highly recommend this one I know that during Black Friday they always tend to have a sale on these so I picked up a backup just in case okay we are at the next category which is skincare First thing I want to mention is sunscreen. One of my resolutions for 2021 was to use sunscreen on a daily basis. I am someone who is horrible with using sunscreen consistently, but I know how important it is. I know that, you know, the sun is the number one cause of wrinkles, and I know that sun damage is so prevalent and not just, I mean, forget wrinkles. You don't want to get skin cancer. You want to keep your 
your face youthful and bright and so I really really recommend you guys to add sunscreen to your daily regimen. So I have two recommendations based on your guys' needs. The first one is a mineral cream. It has SPF 50, it's sheer, weightless, and it is from MD Solar Sciences. This one is a little bit pricey, but what I love about it is that it is 100% mineral and this is water resistant. I had a huge incident this last year where I used sunscreen but it was not water resistant and it ended up just washing right off when I went into the ocean and I got the worst sunburn that I have ever had. It was so traumatic that Literally when I was on my way home, I was already searching for sunscreens that were water resistant. This one got wonderful reviews and since then this has been my go-to. I get this from Amazon. I will keep all the links on things that I can find in the description. Now the other option is from Sephora. This is the matte screen by Supergoop and it's an SPF of 40. What I love about this one is it's also water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes and it is tinted. So what I really like is if I'm going on vacation somewhere tropical where I know I'm going to be outdoors, I don't want a heavy makeup, but I still want a little bit of coverage. I use this basically as my foundation base. So I'll put my primer on and then I'll put this on and some lip gloss and I'm good to go. So I really like this for those days where you kind of want to hide some of your blemishes where you're going to the beach, you're going to the pool, you still want to look cute so you want a little bit of color. Now I will say I don't believe this works for all skin tones. I'm not sure if this would work for a deeper skin tone. So I just want to mention that because we want to be all in here and I want you guys to know what you are getting. So if you have um, light to medium skin, cone, skin tone, oh my god I can't speak, then this would probably work for you. Another option that Supergoop has is they have a glow screen. So if you prefer kind of a glowy look versus a matte look, then I would go for that. I tend to already be a little bit oily, so I usually opt for matte, but you know, it is a personal preference. The next product is this Micro Essence. Do you guys see how much is left? basically nothing and that is because I use this almost every single night so this was the first year that I started using an essence essence is supposed to help serums absorb better into your skin so they tend to kind of have a different molecular weight than your typical toner so what I usually would do is I would do my cleanser I would go in with the toner and then I would put this before my serums and moisturizers so this is a wonderful wonderful product. It is, I believe, a Korean skincare brand and the ingredients are just top notch. I mean, this has everything that your face could ever need. I put this on my neck. I put this on my face. I even kind of carry it down my chest and it's super refreshing. It's very, very clean in terms of being natural, organic, and all of those things. The next product that I would like to talk about is from Coors and this is a Greek brand. Brand. It is called the Hydra Biome Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask with Real Greek Yogurt. So it's kind of a tongue twister. What I love about this mask is it is so hydrating. And I put mine in the fridge, so when I apply it, it's this cooling sensation. Just imagine putting Greek yogurt on your face. However, this has a thicker consistency, so it's not going to be like running down your face. And what I love about it is there is a lot of masks out there that are meant to exfoliate, that are meant to help with acne, but there aren't many masks that are just for hydration and just for kind of healing your skin and moisturizing your skin. So I really love this one, especially during the summer when we tend to have more irritated skin, when our skin tends to be a little bit more dry. I cannot stop using this thing. I swear I love it so much. I love putting it in the fridge and using it on my skin. It is so cooling. I also want to say that this brand Coors is just amazing to its customers. I posted an Instagram story just the smallest thing, you know, saying, oh, I'm doing a mask tonight, something like that. 
and I received a message from them. They asked me for my address and they sent me the cutest little care package with little samples and a little bracelet and a note and it was just so sweet of them because I mentioned so many different brands on my story and it's rare that any of them even respond, let alone go that extra mile. I'm not someone who has tens of thousands of subscribers, so the fact that they were willing to go just the extra mile for me just says a lot about them as a company. I really want to try more of their products, but already from this mask, I'm enamored by them. So highly recommend you guys to check out this mask and to just check out this brand in general. I believe they are available at Ulta and Sephora. Okay, I have two more products on my skincare list. They are both cleansers. The first one is just the Face Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. I absolutely love this formula. It is so moisturizing. It honestly kind of has the consistency of a moisturizer. And I really like it because when I wash my face with it, I feel like it is thoroughly cleaning my skin of makeup, of dirt, of all of those things. It also has aloe in it. It has a bunch of ingredients that I personally love, so I highly recommend. I don't have the bottle with me currently, but I recommend it nonetheless. Now, the next one is also a cleanser, and it is the Gel Cleanser from Peach and Lily. I absolutely love this cleanser. It actually has a gel consistency, and it kind of has this, like, uh, how, would, how would I describe it? It's very hard to describe, but when you put it on your face, it feels so smooth. It just goes over like gloss. This gel cleanser has peach extract, it has camellia extract, it has cucumber extract, it has so many ingredients that are refreshing, that are hydrating, and I absolutely love it. I know Ulta kind of has a peach and lily set where you can try a whole bunch of their products. I got it last Last year and I just fell in love. I haven't used everything just yet, but that cleanser definitely stood out for me. All right, if you guys are still with me up until this point, make sure to comment below what your favorite products were from this past year. What can't you live without? What do you take with you when you're traveling? Because I'm dying to know your guys' recommendations. Now, we are on the last category, which is my bath and body products, so let's just get right into it. First thing that I would like to recommend is this Lux Lotion by Lux Beauty. This is just amazing. A little bit of the highlights, it's hypoallergenic, no parabens, no alcohol, it's vegan, non-greasy, nut-free, no glycerin, and it's dermatologist tested. It has hyaluronic acid, sea buckthorn, and raspberry seed oil. This can actually be applied on your face, on your body, on your neck, on your hands, basically from head to toe. Now, I definitely have a certain moisturizer that I use for my face, but I know my partner, for instance, he uses this stuff all over, and I'm sure a lot of men would love this. It's one of those products that you and your man could share, which is great. And this one is in the scent Coconut. It is absolutely to die for. This is my second container, and it's one of those products that I just know I'm going to keep repurchasing. The next thing that I want to talk about is this KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHAs. Now, if you have keratosis pilaris, you know the struggle. I never knew what that was, but I went to my dermatologist and it turns out that I have keratosis pilaris, especially on the backs of my arms and even the backs of my legs and kind of thigh area. So what's great about this is this chemically exfoliates your skin. So rather than putting a harsh scrub on your skin that's gonna do more damage than, than good, this stuff, I mean, it does kind of have a coarse texture, but it's actually actually working beneath your pores to exfoliate each hair follicle. So this stuff is great. Uh, this is, the, I think, the second or third time I've purchased it, and my dermatologist actually recommended it to me. It's from First Aid Beauty, and it is great. If you struggle with KP, 
definitely, definitely try this out because I have seen visible results while using this. So this is recommended to be used once or twice a week. When I am not using that, I use this. This is from the Seaweed Bath Company, and this is a detox exfoliating body scrub. It has coffee extract, which if you guys don't know, is wonderful for your skin, and it has green tea extract, it has seaweed, it has so many wonderful ingredients. Once again, if you check this on those Think Dirty apps, this is rated very good. So this has been wonderful. It's gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan, cruelty-free, has a bunch of natural ingredients. And what I like about it is although this is a scrub, it is not harsh whatsoever. It has a wonderful scent. This is orange, eucalyptus, and cedar. It's so refreshing. And I use this all over my body, um, you know, not only in the areas where I have KP, but I also use this in the areas where I have KP. And it's it's a great alternative when I'm not using the First Aid Beauty scrub. Absolutely love it. It smells wonderful. It really feels luxurious and I get this off Amazon. Next thing I want to talk about are these bath salts. I love taking baths. It is one of my self-care rituals. It's one of my activities that just makes me feel more feminine. It makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself and over the years I have tried to look for the best when it comes to bubble bath stuff, when it comes to bath salts, the whole vibe, right? These are are the best bath salts I have come across. So these bath salts are from Herbivore. They are the Calm Soaking Salts and the scent is in Ylang Ylang and Vanilla. This smells absolutely heavenly. If you don't know what Ylang Ylang smells like, it is kind of a love or hate, but it smells very sensual. It smells floral. It smells romantic. Um, it's just... It's just a must try, especially if you're a scent lover. So this has sea salt, it has sodium chloride, it has flower oil, it has vanilla extract, and it's a very natural ingredient list, which I love because I know that a lot of the bath salts have ingredients that they hide in there, such as parfum, such as fragrance, which technically you should not be soaking in that stuff. Once I filled my tub with the water, with the soap, and it's all bubbly, and I'm just about ready to get in, I sprinkle this. And what's amazing is these salts are actually quite big and thick. I have tried Epsom salt and while I like Epsom salt, it seems to dissolve into the water and I actually like the feeling of the coarse salt underneath my feet and I like sitting on it. I don't know why, I really like feeling the texture of the salt while I'm sitting in the bath. So if you prefer thicker and more coarse salts that are actually big and they're not just going to dissolve in the hot water, definitely try these Herbivore Calm Soaking Salts. This is the second or third time I've ordered them and I get them from Amazon. Next, I have water wipes. I know, I know this is so random, but if you are like me and you take like wipes with you wherever you go, you need these ones. I am that chick who needs wet wipes, whether I'm just wiping my hands off, whether I'm going traveling and I just want to feel more clean, then this is great. You could even technically remove makeup with it. And what I love about them is they are 99.9% .9 water with just a drop of fruit extract. So 0.1% of the formula is grapefruit, I think grapefruit seed extract and that means they're super natural you can use them just about anywhere and I highly highly recommend these I tend to put them in my backpack or my purse and take them with me wherever I go because we all know there's gonna be a random moment where you need to wipe something off and these just come in handy for me so this year I have really prioritized working out taking care of my health and just getting back into my fitness journey and this sweet sweat waist trimmer is a must for me. I wrap this around my waist before I go on my walks, before I go to the gym, before I get a workout in, and it really helps me shed some extra pounds, especially in the waist ab area. And I really, really like it because not only does it, you know, help you sweat more in that area, 
but it kind of helps the posture in my back, especially when I'm doing weights, when I'm doing different machines. It adds structure to my ab and back area, and I feel like I can just lift more and do more when I'm wearing this. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I just absolutely love this thing, and it is just a must when I'm working out. Last but not least, this is the least exciting thing, but you know what? Someone needs to talk about it. If you you are not using organic cotton for your needs, your menstrual needs, then you really need to hop on board. A lot of these tampons nowadays are full of toxins and you are basically putting that into your body and into your bloodstream. So I highly recommend trying a cotton organic tampon. It doesn't need to be this brand, but what I love about this brand is it has a plant-based applicator. There's no fragrances or dyes. There's no chlorine. It's just straight up cotton with a plant-based applicator. So highly recommend these. I also have a few other brands that I've used that I can link down below, but I just think that in 2021, we need to be taking care Care of ourselves especially when it comes to our menstrual health so that wraps up all of my favorite products for 2021 so if you want to purchase one of these products I should have links for just about everything I can find in the description and I just want to say thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all very very soon bye oh.